what's up guys, Anna here at Pro Watercraft. I have with me today uh, the new four stroke Yamaha Superjet. And today I wanna go over five of the very first things that we upgraded on this Superjet. Five easy upgrades that'll help elevate your ride. The very first thing that we put on our new Superjet before we even rode it, like we picked it up from the dealer and the very first thing that we put on it was gonna be one of these shred meters. It's really important with these four strokes and most jet skis that you keep an eye on how many hours you're putting on the motor so you can keep up with your maintenance. Uh, these skis don't come with an hour meter, so you can pick up one of our shred meters here and it'll keep tabs on how long you're running your ski. The really nice thing about this shred meter in particular is that it has some different sensitivity levels, so you can run it at a higher or lower sensitivity based on how often you're trailering or how often you're riding. Uh, you can mount it either on the dash like we did here or you can zip tie it somewhere in the motor. Uh, either way works, we like to run it on the dash so we can kind of see how many hours we have put on our ski and that way we can, you know, tell our friends that we shred more than they do. The next thing we wanted to change on our Superjet was the boarding handle that was in the tray. When we were riding the ski, we found that, you know, we'd kind of have our knees slip into it or we'd we bang our knee on it. So um, if you're like us and you don't want that uh, boarding handle down in the tray, or if you're thinking about putting some turf or jet trim um, on your ski to replace the stock mats, you can pick up one of our boarding handle deletes. This guy's really affordable and really easy to install. Um, all you have to do is pick up some of our silicone. It'll fit right into where that, uh, that boarding handle is and you'll just silicone that in there. Um, if you want to start with just this, you can fill the hole with this and keep running your stock mats, but we definitely recommend upgrading to some high quality jet trim, which we also sell on our website. All right, to get some more comfort and a little bit more performance, one of the other things that we upgraded right away was gonna be the bars and grips. You can see these are the stock bars that we took off of the ski. The angle's really not great. Uh, the grips are not that great. Uh, so we went ahead and swapped these out. Install was super easy. Uh, we have ADA racing bars and ODI grips on our website. Definitely recommend picking up a set of those because the stock bars and this big football chin pad, not really that awesome. So you'll get a little bit more performance out of this. Install is super easy and you'll get a lot more comfort. As far as handling goes on this ski, one of the very first things that we noticed was that it has some pretty lazy steering on the radius. So um, you go to turn and you're leaning and you got the bars on lock and the ski's just not pivoting around the turn like you want it to. Really quick and easy way to fix that is gonna be our new quick steer kit. So come on in, I'll show you what it looks like. It's just this little guy right here. It's gonna move uh, your steering bolt over and closer to the nozzle, which is gonna clean up some of the throw on your steering and make it a lot easier to get tighter turns. All right guys, those are the first five easy upgrades that we did on our four stroke Yamaha Superjet. You can find all of those things as well as a lot of other cool stuff for this ski on our website at prowatercraftracing.com.